So the Clinton community is breathing a collective big and deep sigh of relief now that this person who was believed to be armed and dangerous is now behind bars here at the Henry County Jail. He was transported back to Henry County overnight after being checked out for a gunshot wound that he sustained from Officer Gary Michael on Sunday night. Troopers saying that Officer Michael was a hero to the end. He did get a shot off and did hit the suspect even after the suspect had fired a fatal shot at him on Sunday night. This search for McCarthy has been going all over Henry County and to Johnson County briefly yesterday in Chilhowee. And then uh, again, troopers getting that tip at about 615 last night that they saw a man matching McCarthy's description walking on U Highway near Bucksaw, near the Bucksaw Marina on Truman Lake. That's a few miles east of Clinton off of Highway 7 a ways. Well, a trooper was near that area. They were able to respond quickly. They took McCarthy into custody without any uh, incident. Now, the investigation is still continuing. McCarthy was not armed at the time that he was arrested. So now uh, troopers and deputies are trying to figure out if maybe he dumped a gun somewhere during his travels. They believe he remained on foot throughout his uh, throughout these 48 hours, roughly, that they were looking for him. <clears throat> Excuse me. The investigation will also continue into whether or not anyone was helping McCarthy travel some of these uh, roads in the woods around the Henry County area. Of course, all of that happening as there is a vigil scheduled for Officer Gary Michael tonight at 830 at the courthouse here on the Clinton Square that is expected to be very, very well attended as this community continues to rally behind this officer's family.